Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the KV-2, the Tier 6 Soviet heavy tank. It's located on the north spawn of Himmelsdorf Encounter, and this one is under the command of Siversen, and this is part of the Derp Coronavirus Special. Yes, you're looking at a KV-2 which has been decked out in the special skin created by Sir Rusty. Coronavirus Quarantine. Well, Mr. Siversen, or Siversen, <laughs> just call him that, is driving a tank which has got a howitzer as its main armament. Yep, it's actually honorary arty, or horizontal arty as we like to call it. It's got a 152mm howitzer which can do 910 alpha with an HE round, penetrating 86mm of armour and it's got a burst radius of 3.66 metres. So it's basically very powerful and was designed by the Soviets to knock down concrete bunkers. But it's pretty good at derping tanks out of existence, and we've got a couple of candidates at the end of that road. <laughs> An M3 Lee has just gone to tank heaven. He's back in the garage, scratching his head, wondering why that happened. Well, yeah, if you face a KV-2 with a loaded gun, you are expecting trouble. Now it's got a rather long reload, 20 seconds. It's just having to check through the arches if there's anything he can shoot. There's another KV-2 on his team in this uh, game, but he's actually platoon with an M44. Now the M44 is up near the road that leads to the hill. There's the enemy KV-2. No hit! The shell didn't go to the target. Oh, but that KV-2 just killed the enemy one. So we now can move up. Got a T-14. Now that's a premium tank. It's an American tier 5. Oh, he just bounced around off us. And another one well angled okay see if we can take him out of the game probably not with one shot because he has got decent armor and he managed to get a pen at last he put the shell in the right plot spot well that one didn't work okay so we've got a couple of other targets we can shoot at there's a Matilda 4 over there and the T-150 round the corner that's a Matilda Black Prince the Matilda 4 looks a ripe target Almost loaded. Okay. Oh, one shot! Amaract him, he blew up. Just need to wait for the reload to go in. And the enemy Artie's just had a pop at us and got a large amount of hit points off that one. 208. Oh, is that T14 still there? He's just around the corner, so he can now do what the TV2 is famous for doing, poking its head around the corner and blowing an enemy tank to smithereens. Well, only 568 hit points off that shot, but he should be able to get it with the next one. The Black Prince joined him this time, and our fellow KV2s joined us. Is it the pylon? Or is it the python pylon? I think it is. Well, he's just taken a massive chunk out of the black um, Matilda right through his turret, and that's a kill. So that's three kills now. Just wait for the reload to go through, and then we can finish off this T14. If the pylon doesn't get there before us. Oh, he doesn't! Right, so we get a chance at the kill. And <laughs> we get it. Four kills now for Silverson. Or Silverson, sorry. Okay, T-150 and a Hetzer. The Hetzer's going up on the ramp, and I think he's going to try and have a shot at us. But, no, he's back in the garage as well. That's five kills, one more, we get the top gun. 
And that T-150's taken some damage, so we might be able to get him with one shot. I think Sivison's decided, yeah, he's going to take the T-150. Here we go. Yes! Top Gun! Okay, we've got a number of enemy targets. There's three RT on the enemy team, two tank destroyers and one medium. The medium's a T6, he's behind the buildings. Got two RT seen in the south and one tank destroyer. The other tank destroyer's the AT2, he's up in the north. And we did lose our M44 platoon mate, I'm afraid, but he was playing a different flank of the battle. If you want to download this skin, by the way, there, there is um, a link in the description so you can download the skin and how to apply it. Got an SAU-40. Oh, two arty! The gorilla. We can shoot him between these tanks. Yep. First kill of the arties. That's seven kills now overall. The M44. Just across the way if we can get him. That's a Pescucci's. I can't see the SAU. There's the M44. And that's a Pascucci's medal and a Radley Waters. So we just need to kill the SAU 40. And well, our teammate takes the uh, shot from the SAU 40. So now it's up to us to finish him off. And that's our beyond ninth kill. Yes! Took a hit, but it's okay. Just the M37. If we, if our teammates will let us get to him, that's going to be a pulse medal. Now stop. Let it dial in. Let it dial in. And yes, he did it. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Looks like the player was very happy. Well done, Simpson. Demetrius medal and a pools medal. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for Siverson in the KV2. He managed to get a hand of God surviving the battle, having received damage from four different enemy tanks. He got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 25 in that one. He also got a demolition expert. He blew to pieces that uh, Matilda and earned that one. He got a duelist for taking down two tanks who damaged him. A fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. And here comes the epic medals. He's got a Demetrius medal for killing three enemy RT. The M37, the M44 and the Gorilla. A Pools medal for killing ten of the enemy. That's two thirds of the enemy team were killed by him. A high caliber for dealing the most damage. And a Top Gun for getting at least six kills. What a great game for Siverson. Um, he actually says the KV-2 is broken this patch. <laughs> if it's broken, yes, leave it like this. It's, it's fun. Let's have a look at team scores. 3,889 hit points of damage from that game. Definitely the highest. The next highest score was the M44 and the enemy team with 1,632. And after that, it was the, the other KV-2, the pylon, who accidentally shot him in the back right to the end, just as he was about to kill the M37. 1,449 hit points for him. When it came to kills, it was easily Siverson. 10 kills, two-thirds of the enemy team. He carried his team to, to victory in that one. And the next high scorer being the Sherman Jumbo and the M44 and the AT2 on the enemy team. When it came to base XP, 1,806. That's a very high ace tanker. 794 for the Stug 4 and 616 for the KV-2. 13 shots fired, 11 direct hits, 9 penetrations and 2 splash. Damage of 3,889 hit points of which 800 were more than 300 meters. So again, the vast majority of the damage done at close range. 10 hits received, 2 penetrations, 5 non-penetrations and 3 hits by way of splash damage. And some of those shots actually came from the RT who were trying to get him. 480 hit points of damage blocked by armor, 6 enemy vehicles spotted, 10 enemy vehicles damaged, 10 killed, and 99 hit points of damage assistance.
He earned 41,947 credits on a premium count, and after repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables took away 40,049 credits. He received 1,806 XP, got 406 for playing in a platoon, and took away 3,115 experience points altogether. What a great game that was! Very well played by Siverson in the KV2. I can see why he was so excited at the end. It was quite an amazing um tour around the Himmelsdorf map taking out the enemy one by one if you enjoyed that replay please give this video a like and uh, do subscribe to our channel if you can please and stay home stay safe play world of tanks and do coronavirus